I grew up in central Kenya. I remember, you know, that, that those days, people who ate beans, you know, are rich people. Poor people only ate, you know, maize. At the University of Nairobi in Kenya, Roof Forum continues to support lead scientist Professor Paul Kimani and his students, people with a passion for beans. The most exciting pieces of research going on in the department are focusing on bean variety development. We spend time with Roof Forum graduate research grantee Sarah Niawera and Professor Kimani to learn about an historic moment for Kenyan beans. You no, know, beans are very rich, for example, in protein and also as a commercial item. Snap beans are special because they are grown for income and changing agriculture from subsistence to commercially oriented in venture. When it comes to runner bean, there's a huge problem. Large-scale commercial farms traditionally import bean seeds to grow high-value runner beans in Kenya. The seeds are long-day seeds that require 16 or so hours of light to flower and bear fruit. In a tropical climate with only 12 hours of light, this means the installation of significant lighting infrastructure to compensate for the shorter days in Kenya. This effectively excludes small-scale farmers from the value chain. Through the research we have conducted, we have developed new varieties of our random beans that can flower without the need for extended light. By producing adapted seed, Kimani hopes to reduce costs for large-scale farms by eliminating the need for expensive lighting. The new seeds also give small-scale farmers the opportunity to grow commercial-grade beans, giving them access to the value chain and a chance to boost income. At the Horticultural Crops Directorate Depot in Kibebe, we find something remarkable. This facility supports the small-scale farmers. For the first time in the history of the country, we have locally uh, produced uh, French bean varieties that meet the most demand for the market. And in fact, we compared with these commercial varieties, and our varieties were much superior. We could get up to 90% of the varieties producing extra fine and fine beans. Working with private sector partners, many locally produced varieties are being developed. So these guys are going to start canning quality again. They have a big market of it in different places but they, didn't, they had only one variety, now they can choose from 10 or more. By working with the various actors, he hopes he and his students will create bridges across the value chain. For small-scale farmers, the work of the researchers is never done. So what I'm seeing, yeah. it could be better yeah. if we can get a variety that will produce uh, uh, straight. 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 Uh, straight, you need a variety. Uh, a straight, yeah. round, and resistance to this. And resistance to this. Do, do you know that such a varieties do indeed exist now? <laughs> <laughs> Are they existing? You see, it is probably the first Kenyan who the first took Kenyans. the first Kenyan who took French bean fresh uh -huh. from uh, Kebebe, HCD, the port, straight to the factory. And, and, and happy, yes, that's what. <laughs> so this is an, a road we want many people to travel. And this is good. One of the things, some of the things like what we did in this project, you know, requires people with, you know, a scientific outlook. Mm -hmm. It's not the typical development project. This is science. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it takes people like Ruforum who understand what universities do mm -hmm. and what are the issues and the ramifications mm -hmm. at the continental level, the regional level, mm -hmm. to support us. And no one would have predicted accurately that we'll be where we are today. Yes. So this, we appreciate the support. To Ruforum, I say thank you a lot for supporting my, my academic research. And also I would like you to urge you to support more students so that they can achieve their dream. Innovation helps us to develop the technology that are relevant to our economies and even the future of Africa. Beast for Africa. <laughs>